What's going on, everybody? Hope y'all had a wonderful week. I know I did, and I'm sorry, I do apologize. I haven't been on last week because I was out in New Orleans because we were having a ball down in FinCon because that's what we do. Uh, so if y'all don't mind, I got a couple people that were at FinCon. Um, but you know, before we dive into that, let's give a quick break and see you guys in a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pause that because you know what? There ain't no New Orleans music. We had a ball. Y'all got to see this. Hold on. Let's see if I can get everybody up in there. Can you fit everybody in there in the video? I can. And my default presentation. There we go. Let's see what we got. Talk to him low. How could I possibly be inconspicuous with my flow? That's fucking ridiculous. That's quite an accent. See, I'm from the south. Some of the most beautiful things come out my mouth. And I'm on stage just as soon as I come out the house. So I might as well give them something to talk about. I want some rap to make a blind man believe in the boogie. And if you came here, the mood is eating the boogie. Oh. Hey, that was amazing. That was amazing. Good job, Neil, on that one. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, so we got a couple questions up in here um, that I wanted to start this whole thing off with because. First off, FinCon is pretty much a whole another. It's a whole vibe, shall I say? It is the the place to be if you're a financial uh, speaker, if you're in that space. It's what it is. But before we start diving into that, I'm gonna just kind of introduce um, Nia, Nia Adams. You definitely familiar with my my audience. I but am. For those who are new. Um, just give them a quick spill of what ex, uh, what you do exactly, and then we can obviously dive into the other stuff. Uh, I'm Nia, um, owner of Perspectives. Um, I help women go from struggling and stressed to empowered about money so they can achieve the financial stability they desire and deserve. All right. And Steve-O? Oh, am I like part of the show? Yeah, yeah. Dude, you kicked the lake. <laughs> oh, wow. This is crazy. Um, yeah, what's up, y'all? I'm Stephen Hughes, financial therapist and Reiki master teacher. Um, I work with uh, individuals to help them get their emotions and their thoughts about money in check so they can live carefree, responsibly. Thank you. And we got Kamari Ellis from the Financial Rebel. Make sure y'all follow this guy because he always put the... Every time. <laughs> what up, people? Kamari Ellis here. How's everybody doing tonight? Doing good, doing good. Doing, doing, good, doing good. I'm loving the overlay, overlays, Anthony. You are doing your thing, brother. Yes. I, thank you. I, I try a little bit, a little bit of everything every day. <sighs> so uh, if you can go on and tell people what you do right quick. Sure. Again, I'm Kamari Ellis. been in tax and finance for over 30 years. And I am what I call... A professional tax problem solver. <laughs> so every day I'm solving people's taxes, filing their taxes, or on the phone with the IRS. And that's what I was today on the phone with the good old IRS all day long. So I haven't really recovered yet from Nolan's. Yo, we really? were just talking about that. <laughs> I'm recovered. I got my voice back now. See, I sound good. Okay. Kamari well, yeah. said I sound husky. Husky. You sound like husky the other day. Husky. <laughs> Uh, what Lawrence say? Let's say hi to the folks. 
No, I've actually been in New Orleans a lot of times. I just, you know, I, I go to eat. Yeah, let's say uh <laughs> first time. <laughs> What was your first time there? In first time, first oh, time. Yeah. Me and my wife's first time. Oh yeah, I've yeah. been a few times, but you know me, that's what I do. I travel. You for the streets? Right, for the streets? Got, for the we got streets. Rakim. Oh, Rakim. Rakim. oh man, we got we got to do a little bit of music for the lady, the young lady that just coming through, because you know how she rolls sometimes, but she rolls with uh, on the tax side of the house, but you know I can't. Give her all the credit because she she does what it do. You know what I'm saying? So let's go on and bring up. <laughs> I have to do this. Know what it is. Now. You about to bring her up? Yeah, yeah. Ready to bring her up? Hey, what's going on, Renee? Oh, hey. Hey, Renee. Hey, Renee, how you doing? <laughs> I like that, Anthony. That's kind of cool. Hey, yeah, I, I don't feel special. I'm jealous. I'm jealous of you, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's all right. Hey. How y'all doing? Good, good, right. you. good, good, good. I thought I had missed all the action. I thought it was yeah. six. No, 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 no. Okay, so y'all just getting started. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So okay. while you up here, can you just tell people a little bit about yourself? Who me? Yeah. Oh, oh man, you got me uh, like on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think everybody in here know me, uh, but I'm Renee Collins. I'm a CPA financial planner, and I am coming at you guys from Chicago. I have a uh, financial planning practice out here, and I also do taxes, although I try to keep taxes to a minimum. So that's what I'm doing out here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, um, one of the things that doesn't work because I'm not having the faces. There we go. <laughs> I need to change. You know, say so I gotta get a little better with the the overlays. I'm playing around a bit. Um, so I did have a, a few canned questions here because a lot of people just don't know what FinCon is, and obviously, you know, it seems like some of us are veterans, some of us have been maybe just first timers. But um, the first question is, how many FinCons have you been to? So oh, doesn't matter who goes first. This Dose. is my second. Yeah. Dos. Uh, my third. Oh, third one. Wow. Mm-hmm. What was your first one? Um, 2019. I was in DC. Nice. I heard that one was fire though. That was really nice. I enjoyed that one too. But it still does not top New Orleans. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Man, I had them. <sighs> Okay, so this is my first time in New Orleans too, and I have to say that I spent more time outside. <laughs> in the car. Spent more. You, listen, that was Nia's influence. He is for the streets, and you follow right along. <laughs> Man, um, because one of the things that I was looking at, I was like, okay, I know because it wasn't my first time. I knew that most of the stuff was being recorded. So I was like, all right, cool. I can skip out on some of these sessions and get some food. Mm-hmm. I had to say, like, first day, man, I went to um, Monday. And Mondays had the uh, sweet potato. Potato beignets. beignets. Oh. I'm so glad I went to get them the day that I went to get them. Otherwise, I would not have gotten them. Mm-hmm. And I did make it to Loretta, Steve. God bless you. Yeah, I made it to Loretta's. Love you for you. Listen, can I tell you about my Loretta's experience? What happened? We what? got down there. They closed. Ooh. Oh, gosh. So wow. I got some crepes, but I didn't get no uh, no Loretta's. No, no, got, no pecan praline beignets. Yes, I yes. got pecan praline beignets. I had a, they had a fried chicken beignet. Oh. Did you get the crab one? Yes. Oh, That's what I got. The crab, things. the fried chicken, yeah. and the, pe- the pecan praline. Baby. I'm gonna tell you, uh, I'm gonna tell you, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. Best beignet in New Orleans. They, they, yeah. Steve put me on because I didn't know about Loretta's, but we tried to go from the airport and they were. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we did. It was like, nah, we filling in orders right now. Y'all gotta wait. Yep. Mm. So I guess it's safe to say we are all beignet experts at this point. Absolutely. I just said I was wondering who Steve was. We was too, Rakim. We was too. <laughs> we was like, you better say something. No, I didn't know. I didn't know this was gonna be a whole production. My dog got the whole 
joint set oh, up. I didn't know it was going to be a right? Oh, this I is what this I was kind of low key. This is what he do. This is what he do. <laughs> this, is what he do. <laughs> this, is, this is my first. This is my first time in the house. I had to take my shoes off and shit. So. <laughs> Can't get coat up. Take your shoes off. Can't get coat up. Can't get coat up. I had no idea. Take your hat okay. off in this house. I feel Excuse like me, that's a glass of wine. Exactly. Oh, Excuse me. Oh, oh, that's we do have a, have a drink session. I'm surprised you got wine in that New Orleans liquor. <laughs> you know what? New Orleans. Right. This, this, this is my recovery drink, okay? That's, that's recovery. nothing else. You got his liquor on in New Orleans. You need a Bloody Mary for recovery drinks, man. Dude, no, I don't need no Bloody Mary. Who are vegetables? Like, to I'm here to uh, drink. <laughs> Listen, man, when I went to uh, Daisy Dukes, yeah, mm-hmm. everybody was in there ordering Bloody Marys. Wow, that's a recovery drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the next question that I had on here because I want to make sure we get through these is Did FinCon this year meet or exceed your expectations? I mean, my, my expectation for FinCon, I, ain't, I didn't answer the last question. This is my fourth FinCon. Wow. I went to 17 in Dallas, uh, 18 in Orlando, 19 in D.C., and then uh, once the pandemic started popping up, I stopped. But um, my expectation was this, this that this was going to be like a family reunion. And so and I was going to attend Lobby Con like real hardcore. I wasn't going to be in those sessions. And for me, if I don't catch the session at the conference, I just know that I'm not ever going to watch it. Like, I know it's recorded, but I'm just not going to stop to go back and find it and watch it through when they drop the recordings. And so for the sessions that I went to this year, um, I'm dropping two podcasts next year. And so going to a couple of podcast sessions and then sessions like the one that Rakim had, the one that uh, Michael from the Bougie Budgeter had about brand partnerships. Um, yeah, I think it exceeded my expectations. because I And I also got to eat Loretta's more than once. <laughs> That's right. That's the important stuff. Exactly. His, his priorities <laughs> together. Okay. I know that's right. I uh, think it, it definitely met my expectations because I think when I when I went there, I just really wanted to, um, you know, Nia and I had talked about this before we even went. Was it was all about collaborations, you know, and so you know, just to be able to meet and, and collaborate with some people, yeah, it definitely met my expectations. I didn't. I really did not do a lot of sessions, but it was not my plan to do that. I did that last year and I did it in 2019. So the goal this year was really, you know, just to um, meet more people and figure out how can we collaborate. Nice. So it was the same for me. It exceeded my expectations. Um, The live, like on the spot, information and advice I got. I mean, from the plane, because I look up and Stephen Hughes is on my flight. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? So we rode there together. So I kicked it off getting like valuable information that mm-hmm. if I wasn't going to FinCon, I wouldn't have been on a flight with him. If I wasn't going to, you know, FinCon, I wouldn't have been in that hallway to get that information that I received. So to me, the like I went to maybe I went to one session. And then the last day I went to, I believe, two sessions, but one of them was Mikhail saying brand partnerships. And then I went to the high, the high uh, convert email because I'm working on my my newsletter. Mm-hmm. That's, I think about all the sessions that I, oh, except the one that was trash. Um, <laughs> other than that, okay. <laughs> I didn't really go to sessions. Like, like same thing. I wasn't there for that. I was there for the people. I was happy to see right. my people. It felt really good to see everybody from like talking to them all year and us to really just go out and have a genuine good time with each other. Like at the, I just, it was just, to me, that was everything for me. Mm-hmm. Come on. For me, um, it was bittersweet, right? So I don't necessarily go to, I'm not the guy that goes to conventions with this action plan. My only action plan for this year was to do content because last year was my first year. I recorded content this year. I didn't record content and do the interviews that I wanted because I left my microphone, but then come to find out I did actually have a microphone with me that I just, it wasn't the one I wanted, but I, it could have worked out. So, but listen, anytime we are able to get together, it's a good time. And that's all I asked for. Yeah. And I feel like I met so many good relationships last year 
and then a lot of the folks showed up again this year mm -hmm. and even more so i definitely got my money's worth mm -hmm. um so it was good i did feel the uh i don't know the class track was a little light this year it wasn't as yeah. good as last year but mm -hmm. that's cool because i feel like now i've already like done my ten thousand hours on all these things it's just time to execute Mm -hmm. when I'll find out the rest later. Mm -hmm. I'll find out the rest when I see you. Exactly. <laughs> Common. So my thing, my expectations, I think it actually exceeded my expectations because for one, um, I was really there for the people just to kind of see y'all. Mm -hmm. um, and two, was like to meet some new people. And I was able to only, I had mental capacity of maybe to meet about like maybe five people. And that's all I met. <laughs> that's <laughs> me. I interact with so many, like most of you guys already on the social platforms and chats. And we but are it's different in person. It's, it's different. different. It is different. It's different. But it yeah. like it was different. Different, it's different. It's not the same in WhatsApp. Yeah. No, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. But, you know, because Nia, you and I, we've been cutting it up throughout the, the year. And the first time meeting you, I was like, yo, it's like, yo, we're here. It's yeah. Here. Like, so yeah, but better, <laughs> but better. Yeah, yeah. Um, but far as the expectations, I have to say, even coming to the conferences, it was just um, it was just interesting the different. Um, and I had to say that walking up and down the steps was, I mean, not even steps because they have steps. The elevators was another barrier that I was not ready for. And also, it was my first time speaking at the conference, so I was excited about that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I had my roundtable talking about the podcast, uh, content creation tools and everything like that, that kind of help speed up uh, your content creation. And also, like, how do you actually set up your interviews and how do I actually streamline my process now instead of me spending about six hours to cut it back to about four hours? And now I'm actually about to cut it back even further because, you know, Kamari and I, we were playing around with tools last night at the year live. Um, so now I'm about to cut it back to even two hours just for mm -hmm. my hour long uh, videos and so forth. So it's it's a lot that's been happening. So I have to say it really exceeded my expectations on that. And plus, I got Bernadette Joy coming on the show. Like, <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> so I was excited about that. Um, so the next question is, what's your first timers expect for FinCon? Mm. Y'all like kind of veterans now. I think it depends on the city. Mm. But for the most part, I think first timers should expect one to meet a lot of people. And if they're really enthusiastic about financial education slash financial literacy, to really meet some other people that they normally might not meet and everyone's friendly. Yeah, I think that's great advice. Um, and I would honestly say spend more time in hallways. You know, when I went the first time, you know, I was in all the classes, you know, and that's fine, except that to me, you know, relationships. Yeah, I see Rakeem said, expect to be overwhelmed for sure. Because I was definitely overwhelmed the first time I went. Um, but I would definitely say, you know, just, you know, like, like Mari said, you know, expect to meet a lot of people, you know, and, and build relationships. I kind of want to echo what Rakim is saying and say expect to be overwhelmed, but I also want to add expect to be pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. um, because you hear a lot about like, you know, a lot of social media people are presented as celebrities and presented as untouchable or intense. <laughs> I said a lot of, I just said, oh, but yeah. So I feel like it's not that atmosphere at FinCon. Like the uh, girl was like, oh, can you, you know, can you take a picture of Ellie? Can you, can, can you introduce me to Ellie? I was like, girl, you're going to be with Ellie playing games. Like you're going to be able to talk to Ellie yourself. Like you're not going to have to do all of that, you know? So it's like, right. you get to talk to the people and interact with everybody. And we just, you all help and share. And it's such a welcoming and a great environment. 
And what I, I think I like about it is um, as a first time, and this was something that the, that was told me when my first FinCon was that the relationships will be, well, far outlast all the sessions that you go to. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. So sure. Make sure you go, just go down to meet the people, yeah. have yes. a chat session, just sit down with them. Everybody's here to help. Yes. Because yeah. prepare to be sick of me. Y'all not getting rid of me. <laughs> Nice. <clears throat> Renee, anything on that one? What's that? Anything else to add? Yeah. Mm-mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Like I said, I just feel like, you know, spend more time in the hallways getting to to know people. You know, that's something I did not do my first time. You know, I was in all the sessions trying to take in all the information. And then I realized that, you know, the real, you know, action is really happening in the hallways. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. My first time I did that too. <laughs> that, my first time I did that too. And that's why I didn't meet a lot of people. Like I didn't right. meet Anthony last year. I didn't meet Tiffany last year. Mm-hmm. Amari. I didn't meet any of them last year. If I wasn't, if somebody wouldn't have told me about the chat and I got in the right. chat, I never would have met them. And I didn't even know about the chat to the end. Cause again, I was in the sessions. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. But I think that's how I got in the chat, but I did know some people you know, before I got there. From the guy in everyone's video. Mm-hmm. Who right. said that? <laughs> Which he was. He was. Not, not yeah. me. That, you mean Anthony. No, right him. Not... Right. No, he talking about himself. Oh, yes. Guy. Yeah, right yes. him. He was yeah. definitely in everybody's video. Yes, right. he was. Listen, the, <laughs> one, the one video y'all at the club, Rock him got his glasses on, and he's in like mid-dance. Right. Dancer pose is like everything. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I'll say this though, I do think some of the sessions are valuable because I met a lot of people in sessions as well. Mm-hmm. Like Deandra, Deandra, I met her in the session last year. Now she's in the group because I got her in the group. Wow. I think I did. Mm-hmm. Don't quote me on that. But that was just like she party with y'all more than me. So, so funny story. Know. I knew Deandra way before FinCon or anything. Fin oh Con well, then I'm corrected. So me and DeAndra know each other from real estate investing in Cleveland. No. Okay. So we knew each other well, but when she came into the chat, I'm like, oh hey girl, what you doing yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, right. So that's right. why we so tight because we've known each other for years right. before I yeah. even grace Finn Kind. Mm-hmm. But for me, seeing because she's an accountant, I'm an accountant. It was like cool. And she's trying to do it. And I bully her a little bit because I bully y'all to get on camera. Like Alex will tell you, like she needed. Yeah, I made some folks get on get on our screen but that's what it's about it's about growth so right. you know I'm, I'm working on deandra a little bit now nia we're gonna work on it together we're gonna tag team stay on her right stay on her. <laughs> that's what's so funny we met with real estate invested in cleveland mm, that's dope. meetups in cleveland we met that's dope. Mm-hmm. so i'm gonna take some of these uh comments here so carmen she put in there first timer mistakes being at every session LOL, overwhelmed and definitely had to hide as an introvert for my first FinCon, uh, my first time last year. Now, I have to say that most of us are actually introverts to some degree. Um, at least I'm an introvert. Everybody doesn't know that. Yeah, we know you're an extrovert. Yeah, we know you're an extrovert. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like most of us are, and we just do this because it feels like family. Like it's almost like when they help show those memes it where it's like it is. It's not. It feels like this is family. Mm-hmm. So this is what introverts do, right? They go to New Orleans and they buy books. <laughs> not not the free giveaways. Like oh, actually, cool. why you got a book? Oh, I got the free giveaways. Yeah, I got the free giveaways too. But I actually went and wrote books. So uh-huh. you know, it was that's what introverts do. Did y'all want to show off your books that y'all got? Because I got like, that you brought. I got that, that you brought. That you I brought books that that I got. From yeah, I think I. Oh yeah, I brought books. Like I'm talking. I bought Corbin's books. books. You got Corbin books. I bought Corbin's books. Oh Corbin, okay. Who's Corbin? I don't know Corbin. Who's I had him on my show. I don't. He know. Re- he rewrote the richest man in Babylon. Right. Mm. Really. Yeah. With <laughs> with permission from his family. Oh, that is dope. Yeah, mm. he got like his high school yearbook and everything. They gave him a lot of things. Oh, that's dope. That is dope. Mm-hmm. I'll have to check that out. I need to he buy that it. just. Just, just because, because exactly. yeah, just because. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's good people. He is. I had him on the show talking about it a little bit, but actually, you know, we talked about it behind the scenes because we talked about it last year when I had him on FinCon. 
Like I met him at FanCon, so that's why I had him on the show. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I, good thing I, Corbin, his last name uh-huh. Corbin. Corbin, last name Corbin. That is dope. All right, I got so many books. All right. I don't think I got. Did I get any? I think I got maybe a couple books. Here we go. Uh, Con. Okay, that's what you yeah, got. So, I mean, mm-hmm. but Anthony, you got the convert kick book. Of course. <laughs> because oh, because he's a member. They wasn't giving a book out to everybody. They only right, gave it. Oh, so let me move my. I had to from last year, but I've been using ConvertKit from ever. By the way, we I don't have ConvertKit. So. We shouldn't even be talking about them because they're not a sponsor, right? I know, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. However, they did sponsor my show. They did sponsor my show on one of their email lists. So I, I did get an Oh, okay. Okay, nice. All right. All right so what you got? What you got, Nina? What you got? Because you you front and center right now. Okay. Books you got. okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, kids' money book. Mm-hmm. Cool. Who wrote that one? Uh, Bob Wheeler and Philip McAdoo. Mm. Mm-hmm. I collect books for my little cousin. Okay. Money books. Nice. <laughs> got it. Yeah, because everybody else gives regular books. All my books are money books. <laughs> I know that's right. This yep, is- I got that one. Yeah, yep. yeah, he he got yep. Gotta yep. go back to recovery. Ah, uh, take care. Feel better. Yeah, feel better. Take this. care. I got the successful speaker. This oh, one yeah. they, they starting the book club about in the chat is this okay. book. Mm. What was that one called? The success. The successful speaker by Grant Baldwin. Okay. Buy then build. We switched books because I'm going on his podcast. Mm-hmm. So we switch Amber. books and he's going to read it before I go on there. Okay. okay. So talk about the book on the podcast. And then Joe. Stacked. Which ah, is so funny. Yes. He's one of the reasons why I have a business. Really? Yes. I met him years ago. When, you know, Jason Vitug. Mm. Well, oh, is that the guy you were telling me about? That What he did? What is it? He owns Frugal, Frugal but Frugal. with a PH. Mm-hmm. And he came out with his other book. It was his first book was called YOLO. Mm-hmm. And so he did a tour. He did a tour, which I actually want to try to coordinate a tour for my book myself. But I got to figure mm-hmm. out like what's the best entity to go through. That's another story. So I went to when he was in Chicago and his and her money was there. Tanya Rapley from My Five Finance. Uh, Michelle was there Michelle Clark from Michelle is Hungry Mm -hmm. I met all of them and I happened to meet Joe and you know at that time that's when I was thinking about getting a business and he was like oh well let's you know set up a call to talk we got on Skype so that tell you how old it was this is before (laughs) Zoom existed (laughs) like that tell you how long ago this was he jumped on a call with me he answered my questions he gave me tips about starting a podcast he just just poured into me mm-hmm. and answered all my questions. I decided the podcast was not for me at that moment. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's what gave me like the, oh, like I can do this, you know? Right, so I exactly. Was pretty mm-hmm. So I made sure I told him that story when I got the book. Because mm-hmm. he didn't have to do did that. He, did he remember you? Yeah, I don't, I think, yes, I think he did. Mm-hmm. I think he did remember me. Because mm-hmm. he said, when I walked up, he said, your face looks really familiar, but I don't know why. <laughs> that's good stuff. <laughs> All right. What's the next question? Um, oh, well, I was going to share my books. I mean, I got books. Oh, go ahead, run it. <laughs> like, all right, so you be quick, man. Quick, I quick, see, quick. right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I got the content creator one from um, what's the name? So what did you get from that book? What is that? I am a creator. What, what is that from? This one is from ConvertKit. So what they do, they actually oh. take a snippet of each content creator that they've ever interviewed and they actually take a moment and do a summary of like how many followers they had, what's their stats and everything like that. So it's almost like their media kit, but in a binder format. It's dope. Nice. And they have one for bloggers too, I believe. Right. Really? So they do, yeah. So nice. they do one of these in different colors. Mm-hmm. They say you can use an email and just keep using different emails so you can get multiple books. <laughs> Cause they give you $40 now for using Nicole Fink. Like who else, where else can you get this? <laughs> um, they just said put that in the um use FinCon. I think it was 23 inside their thing. That's fine. Okay. So I had this lady on my show. Um oh, Tracy. I her. Um, oh, I got yeah. her. Yeah, she was there this year, right? mm-hmm. yeah, she was there this year. This is I'm not sure if it's her first I know year. Her but she, the divorce lady. Yep, yep exactly. Yeah, she was there last year. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah I met her last year. Yeah. That explains why she came on my show, then, I guess. I was just asking anybody to come on my show. Hey, look who else I got. Woo. That's what's up. <laughs> I owed you. Right. I owed you that book. All right. Wait a minute. Oh, that's cool. Wait a minute. You have a book? I have three books. Yes. Oh, I, was, three books. I know of at least two. Right. Right. Oh, she said, keep up the great work. Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Why are you mad? I got three I, books. I ain't get a book. I would have brought a book. I would have probably brought a couple books. Had you order, want to grab. I got you on the grab. The link still works. No, I got you. But I know I, I saw you in person. But all right. I got you. Say less. Oh, so Maya, actually, Mia, send Maya. me the link. Send me the link. I can't, and I'll sign it before I mail it. Okay, send me the link. So, um, I talked with Maya. This is my first time meeting her. I'm not sure if this was her first FinCon or second one, but she was nice enough to sign her book. This is her first book, and I was the very first book that she ever signed. Oh, oh nice. that's nice. I was like, "Where do you sign it?" Ma never signed a book. I was like, "You sign it with the biggest space." I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool though that that's is cool. cool yeah so books for kids so back to books for kids i got the golden quest uh, i got that one yes yeah, i was going to get that book from him i was going to yeah get that he was so next I, to me when i was at the author booth yeah because i interviewed him twice um mm -hmm. and so he's awesome talking about like kids and money but we also talked about real estate mm -hmm. i'm not going to talk about this book because i got it from last year However, I'm gonna talk about this light skinned dude right here. You know <laughs> <laughs> he looked like I swear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and he signed it. The only light skinned version. I appreciate your consistent support. Rakim Sabri, he's not here. But hey, this is the only light skinned copy. Right now is valued at two thousand dollars because he signed it was a thousand dollars at first. But now it's two thousand. Oh goodness! Only, I got the only copy. Okay, that is doing. so funny. So I want to give you a recommendation. What's um, that, Anthony? I would love for you to reach out for to Rachel Hannibal. She's got a oh, great children's uh -huh. book. Amber's on, uh, Magic Saving Box is yes. her book. Oh, yeah. nice! She's, not, she's a Philly homegirl, and she's dope. Yeah, she that is. Magic she's really dope. Box? Yeah, yeah no, Amber's Magic Savings Box is her book. I'll put it in the chat. Yeah, her book. She's dope. And she she's been on the show. OG. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's oh cool. nice. Yeah. Well, we gotta give a shout out because you know, Rich like my melanin. Come on, Jay. <laughs> she loves these. Uh, we gotta give Jay her air horns. She loves these things. Uh so Jay said, Hey y'all, I'm joining the recap and audience member. My flight was delayed by an hour this evening, so I can't make it. Um, however, hey, oh, you, know hey what I'm oh, you need your cell phone. Come on now. Yeah, come on can. now. <laughs> okay, so I had this guy Kyle um Nickel. 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 Think about it, he was going in on his talk with some people was like, yo, you gotta cut his mic. However, I do want to give this book away for free. All right. I got two of these. He gave me an extra one because I was like, hey, I'm gonna go live and I want to give you a book away for free. So I got two of these. I gotta get rid of one of them because I gotta read the other one. I read what it. is what is it about? Mind, body, and money. Yes, um, he was just talking about a uh, simple daily routine that takes less than an hour but pays massive dividends and helping you gain more control over your emotional, physical, and financial health, how to shrug off, overcome daily stress challenges, how to take small, consistent steps to imp uh, in improving your physical health, how to get more control over your money, actionable steps to help you take control. That's pretty much the quick highlights uh, from this book. Okay, gotcha. Um, so he was actually talking about going through his divorce and dealing with the kids and the lawyer and all this fun stuff like that. And I was like, okay, dude, um, <laughs> you get it. So uh, if, the you guys want, if you want this book, go ahead. I mean... Make sure I get the um, the joint for the giveaway because I want to make sure y'all get this giveaway. I mean, even though we financial people, hey, we like the giveaway to everybody. So, um, and the giveaway is the code for this one. I'm gonna just say money. We're just gonna do this money. That's all you got. That's all I got. <laughs> hey, I mean. Hey. That's Hashtag money. Type in I hashtag. Say, I join, get one of my books away. I got some. 
Oh, you got some? Mm-hmm. I got some. I got my house, my home book and my other book. You, I can't believe you didn't know I had books. Hold on. Let me show. I knew you had books. I'm I talking might, about, I'm talking about have, I yeah. might have, but I might have. You know, listen, man, I'll be busy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't mean to stop sharing. Uh, so I'm going to present my screen because I want to make sure that y'all got into this stream. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead on and type in hashtag money. Every time somebody put in hashtag money, you get an entry. We're going to do multiple entries. So if you win one, you don't get a chance to win the second one. But you know what? You know what? I'm gonna go. All right. We got a couple of entries already. Yeah, we, we got, got some two already. Entries. Yeah. We got two. All right. So I'm going to play some, some music while we get these entries in, but we can continue on with the show. Um, let's see what we got with this. Kamari. Yes, ma'am. I see it. I see it. Listen, I got to catch up. I, I, I want to be an author like you guys. I know. Me too. Hold on. Put it, put it back up again, man. She's right, well, um, she's like, listen, I do this. Like, he got the light skin. Know. He got the light skin version of this one too. Oh yeah, I do got the light skin version of that too. <laughs> <laughs> do you really? <laughs> do. Amazon kept sending him the light skin version of all the books. Wow. But they don't oh. send like when you order your author copies, they send it right, of course. Mm-hmm. But he ordered it as a customer, mm-hmm. and they sent him the light skin version. Interesting. It, and and it man. <laughs> <laughs> Get that. <laughs> Wow! Oh, yeah. Hold on, keep it right there. Keep it right, right. there. Oh my! Let's see if we can do, do one of these. That yeah. is crazy. Now, look at the difference. Right. Has that happened to anyone else? That's not the same hand. I don't know, no. who, she no. I don't know who she is. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> so this one right here, this book is worth two thousand dollars. Right? It's worth a thousand dollars because I ain't got a signature in here yet. So when I get the signature oh, in here, it's jumping up a thousand dollars. All right. All right, so we only got two entries. Nobody else want a book? No way I thought where Kim was bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what Amazon over there doing. I don't know what Amazon mm. over there doing. I'm telling you. Oh, that's crazy. They're trying to save ink. I don't know what it is. Mm. All right, so we got um, two entries. All you do is hashtag money. You get a free book. Can I I'll... go into Huh? You can go into it if you want to. <laughs> See what we get. We got two entries. All right. Uh, I mean, that's what we're gonna roll with it. Give us some time. Um, it's that's it. Hashtag money. We got number three. We got three entries. No matter what platform you're listening to, my voice or our voices on, you can just hit hashtag money. Like we. We don't go from all of them. It does. It does. Oh, it didn't do it for me. On stream. I tried to use it. Well, I know I'm sharing. Are you sharing your platform then? I he am. is sharing. Yeah. Oh, okay, I guess so, it only shows right, I guess. Yeah. Bam. All right, we got four. All right, it'll be funny when you win your book. <laughs> no, you ain't going to win I'm your giving book. away my book. You're giving another way book away. You're giving away this book. All right. It's Mind, Body, and Money. All right, we got four entries. Five. We got five entries. Hey, we got five entries. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all are hilarious. I feel like I need to join. Wait a minute, how do I do it? Let me see. You got to go to go to YouTube and go to <laughs> about that wallet. Yeah. Or I or, mean, YouTube, technically or anybody. It. Yeah. You right go to mine. So you can go either one. Yeah. Any of ours. Okay. Wait a minute. Oops. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. All the Darius. All right. All we got, got six entries. Okay. Okay. All right. We don't get this money. Okay, wait. How do I do it? Says join exactly. the chat. No, look, Doctor Sev. She said she said she loved anything free. That was me on Canal with the parade. Mm. It was like a game. <laughs> oh, the parade? Yes. Oh, <laughs> my, oh my God, the game. <laughs> the and she kept throwing all that stuff. We we would put our phones down. Like, okay, here come another truck. Hold on. Yep. <laughs> Hold <laughs> on. Put your phone down. Get ready. That is real the tough. Company. The coffee company that was giving away K cups. PJ. Yeah. I thought that was so dope. I gave away three bags of coffee. Really? Yeah. I had three bags of coffee. I had a bag. They gave me a bag full of stuff. Then I had so many necklaces on. Everybody was looking at me like, what the hell are you out here doing? I was like, some strange for some change. Oh, they did had a rerun. So on the street. <laughs> Should you put the rerun on? Entertainment. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm not doing. Came back like a bag lady full of stuff. I did. They gave me a whole bunch of stuff. I was catching stuff. It was just the the fun and getting the free stuff. 
All right, I'm about to throw this Did drum you do it, Renee? I, girl, I can't even figure it out. Y'all know I'm kind of tech challenge. <laughs> All right, do you want me to hold off, Renee, or you want? Okay, you... I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to do it on my cell phone. Okay, yeah, okay, just go to any, and then go to the chat, the live chat, and just type in. You can do either of our channels. Okay. Yeah. Let's see here. Oh, hey. Hey, what's going on? We're giving out a free giveaway for Taylor. Well, I'll say for sake. We're not giving away for him, for him but, you know, we're giving away for the book. So we're giving away a book. Go on and type in hashtag money if you want to enter this book. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There you Did go. Okay. Perfect. Yep. All right. Well, I got. I got to make sure. So we got six entries on my seven. All right. So we just got. Oh, six. We got seven entries. Let's go. Right. Well, yes. let me um turn off the music and let's get it going. All right, y'all ready? Five, four, three, two. Oh man, I'm learning something. This yard is bomb. Hey! Oh, all right! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's pretty cool. It's funny to smirk. Like he he won, saying he the winner. He got that smirk on his face. Like yeah, right. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Uh, so Neil, you ready to give away your book? Oh sure. So now I really got to create a book so I can come on Anthony's show and give it away. And give it away. Yeah, we had so much oh, wait, fun. I got to get back in there. You ready? So, Nia, what, uh, what hashtag you want to do? Hashtag Mindset. Nia. Mindset. Hashtag, hashtag mindset. mindset. Mm-hmm. All right. So, all those of you who have been inside. Oh, since so this is not multiple drawings. Since it's a brand new drawing, you get to actually re-enter. It's okay. Uh, and shared screen. So, Nia, tell us a little bit about your book. Hold on. Since My we voice not hundred percent yet. Okay. You say your voice. <laughs> not the voice. You gotta get some, you know. All right. Let Let's so, get to your solo layout. There you go. Okay. This is a book that is created. I wonder if you order this, would you get a light scan version? Oh. Um. <laughs> Um, this is a book that is catered to the high achieving woman, um, basically to help her go through all of those mental parts of money and go through a lot of the acts and things that she does that is not putting herself first. Um, every chapter has two actions, actionable steps that they can take to get better with their money and improve their finances. And, um, it's a really good resource to, just break down to your mindset about your money so you can become more confident in your finances. Like practice, make progress. Cause who perfect? Nobody. Nobody. Exactly. Nobody. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Awesome. Seven Uh, entries. Okay. Yep. We got seven entries. Oh damn. Kamari got four. No, you don't get that. They don't duplicate. They don't duplicate. You only get one. Yeah. (laughs) We thought about that. Okay. So they try to put in twice. They try to say you're going to get multiple wins. No, it's it's right. I'm right. <laughs> if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Okay, so I want to know how does this work behind the scenes? So when we type in like hashtag and then whatever the word is, does that is that like all automated? Yep, it's all automated. So oh, it'll count cool. every time somebody put one in, it will automatically put this in because this is actually... You just type thing. it in the chat, Adrian. You just Sorry. type it in the chat. It's for a book. It's for a book. It's for a book. You're getting Nia's book. Yeah, it's all in StreamYard, uh, Renee. Yeah, everything's in StreamYard. That is really nice. Isn't Wait a minute, cool? that's in yeah. StreamYard? It's yeah, stream it's in yeah. StreamYard. Dude, I told you I play around with this stuff. <laughs> I, I told you what you need to do, Anthony. I already he told said you. He's not only the president. <laughs> he's not only the president. Nah, listen, he, he got it. I told <laughs> Anthony he needed to do, he needed to do a whole tech company. So he, whole- that's going to be Anthony's master class. That's gonna be my masterclass. Mm-hmm. I'll go for yes. That's fine. All right. So, all right, y'all ready? Y'all yeah, should ready? Mm-hmm. All right. So, Nia, I'm play this. Keep this going for you. Right? You gotta type hashtag mindset in the hashtag chat. Hashtag mindset Adrian. in the chat. There you go. There, there you, you go. go. Girl. There you go. When I want a chicken dinner. All right. So we got another rock song for this one. Let's see what we got. 
set, go. He's about to win again. Hey! Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh my gosh, let's go. And I don't have that one, Neil, so that's yeah. right. She came to. So that's another thing about how awesome FinCon is. I met Renee at FinCon 2022. Yep. Uh, which was in early September. And my book signing was October 13th last year for my home buying book. And Renee came to my book signing. Mm -hmm. her, and, her and Renita. And I had yep. just met them at FinCon. Like, yep. that's how awesome FinCon is. Yeah. And like yep. Kamari said earlier, it is a Well, somebody corrected me. said it is a family. I did. That was yeah, me. Mm -hmm. you. Yeah. That's you said it's a family. Yeah. Um, and, and, is. and we are accountability partners. We are. So that's how me... Anthony and Renee talk so much. Every Wednesday we have an accountability call and you have to say what your goals are for the week and then we actually call you on it. Did you do it? Mm -hmm. Right. Pretty much. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. We all met it. All it's all from FinCon. All yep. on Central Platform. <laughs> yeah, all from FinCon. Mm -hmm. All right. So what are the, um let's continue on. So one of the questions is what is your what was your most memorable moment of this FinCon? Oh, can I go? Go ahead, go, go, go. The electric slide at Cafe Dubon. Oh, oh. Well, that's my that's my second favorite one. But let's. You I'm, didn't I'm know that Cafe Dubon had karaoke, did you? We added that feature. Black black karaoke. Let, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Right, let me <laughs> add that. Over. Let me see if I can add that clip because some people had a little bit clip of it. You know what I'm saying? No. Um, so listen, do you have the clip of him singing with Rakim? This one is from Tiffany's page. I have the Rakim clip. And I have it too. It's on my phone. I have the Rakim clip. This oh, is if you send it to, put it in um in the chat, and I can uh, or just chat it to me, and I can bring it up on. Well, I believe you can present on your side on my side too. Let's see. Send it, send it to you where on WhatsApp. You got WhatsApp. Yeah, like, you, you yeah I have WhatsApp. WhatsApp side, but... I got WhatsApp web. Okay. But it, she, yeah, you can do it on your side though too. It's on my phone, so I. Have oh, to um... yeah. I don't know if Rakim would be happy with us playing this. Well, he doesn't own it, so <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay, so I do have a, a high request from Jay, who is in the audience right now. So I know we, we were talking about like how fun and cool everything that we do. Like, because you guys are in the chat right now, you actually get access to Jay's talk because Jay and I we talked for the first time. We actually had to do shots together because we were so excited. <laughs> why, why am I not surprised? <laughs> hey, I mean, look, look, we, we we did shots, okay? We did shots. Let's see, yeah, we did shots on my first recording together, and then we did shots <laughs> mm -hmm. after we finished talking. Mm -hmm. uh, Jay is bomb, though. Jay is bomb when it comes to like making things efficient and like she she does that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, we might like, the ideas she come up with and the way that she mm -hmm. puts that together. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to, have to get Jay up here one day. Yeah. For the live show. Oh man, I forgot my drink session. You did. You did. You know what? I am forget. No, no, no. I don't have no liquor. Nope. This is my liquor. I got liquor. I got drinks. You got water. Yes, water. Okay. Right. I got water, some water. water counts. I got water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Water counts you already? Yep. All right, cool. <laughs> What y'all drinking out there today? So, if y'all new to this show, <laughs> if y'all new to this show, I'm sorry, but we do drinks all the and we right. drink usually every half hour. But hey, it's a special <laughs> occasion. We came from New Orleans. Kamari, fix your face. It's all right. You give some. So. <laughs> <laughs> Any time to drink, you know what it is. <laughs> 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 So what I'm drinking today? Not is, AKA colors in the chat. I'm not an okay. AKA. Is it a, but look at the chat. Look at the last two. Look at the last two comments. Uh, all right now. So, all right now, Sarars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking the sweet peach today. It's a wine, a little sparkly wine. Get a little extra 
Anthony. You know a little something going on. He definitely got you, Ladarius, because he the one who taught me about what I know about StreamYard. I learned that from Anthony. I'm telling Anthony to start a tech company. Podcast tech company. Ooh. I told him that at a con. Oh, oh yeah. Well, I'm thinking about like I actually really did enjoy talking about to other people about um podcasting things because like I do a lot on the back end and a lot of people just don't don't use it. I'm like, what's well, free? Like <laughs> Listen, <laughs> like, I'm Mario, you and I we spent we spent like an hour and a half last night just chatting about podcasts and stuff. Absolutely. Oh, did we get a new guest? Who joined there us? There is. No. Hold on, everybody. Let's, let me cut this out right quick. Let me, let me get some intro music. We can't see who. No, y'all can't. I can. Uh-huh. All right, we got to get us some music. All right, y'all ready for this? All right, I want y'all to put y'all hands together because the person that loves the air horns is coming to the oh, stage Jay. right now. Let's give a round of applause for Jay Stevens. Hey, Jay. Oh, and she looks like she's doing that smartphone. Looking beautiful. Um, I am, and I'm trying to like look decent. So, oh, you look great. You look amazing. Seriously delayed. Right. We um, see so uh, all see, groups are born in at C4. Right. <laughs> That's the flight before mine, y'all. I was supposed to be properly set up um, with audio and visual and everything. So this is what you can do in a public restroom in like 10 seconds. <laughs> I'm probably going to put myself on mute as they uh, avoid them people. But I wanted to stop in and say, hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> And thank you for the link in your talk, by the way. I'm sure everybody's taking full advantage of that right now. Yeah, I need that link. Where is that link? It's in the chat. Thank in the you. chat. Okay. Can I, got I to give see all the a proper shout out to everyone yeah. um, quickly for the four of y'all? So I'm going to do it in the order that y'all are in my screen. So Kamari, uh, properly before we even got to spend time, took like a good hour or two out of his life actually i feel like it was two or three hours to show me all kind of things that i could do on youtube because that's my goal for this year don't don't slide over to my youtube page right now i'm not saying i executed on all those goals but but he gave me the train <laughs> yeah. next uh come on it's, it's it's happening and then the, uh, um, when i said i wanted to plan something for us to all get together as the cookout cousins Nia stepped up and was like, I got you. We can do it together. And I was going to try to have it on a night when I was in town. Um, but the group said they wanted to do it on Friday. And I was like, y'all, I got to go to Howard Homecoming. I'm not going to be there on Friday. And so mm-hmm. Nia handled it, which um, was above and beyond because the venue we selected, I don't know if y'all covered this already. They were on some, we're not going to give them attention, but they did not uphold their part of the contract. And Nia was like, with the quickness, pivoted and found somewhere else to go. That was still black like business, which is dope. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were like, I was all new, and I was like, oh, hey. Yeah, and, and we loved it. Um, and she spoke and made me feel, you know, welcome to love, which I know y'all have said a few times. It's just, in general, it, it is how fan kind of is. Like, we all reach out to each other. We support each other. And then Anthony held the pre-conference um, meetup in D.C. He organized us to all get together at a restaurant in uh maryland before we got there so we could meet each other so yeah i wanted to go on and say like hey to all y'all and give y'all <laughs> the credit you deserve thank you thank you for yes, coming thank through you, thank you absolutely <laughs> that is so sweet thank you honey yeah i can't wait to see you in dc for the next one <laughs> let me know when that yes, is maybe yeah all right cool thank you very much so did One you of get the things, videos, Anthony? Huh? Did you get the videos? Let me see. Let me see. Yep, I got them. I just got to... Oh, uh, this is going to be hilarious. Okay. I got it up already. Oh, um, Kamari ready. Okay, well, sorry, Kamari. Let yeah. Kamari ready. He got it. He's ready. ready. You ain't got to get ready. I got it, dude. I got it. <laughs> I just got to move it off of this. Carmen, say, Carmen and Adrian say, hey, Jay. Mm-hmm. Did Jay dip out already? No, she's still on. No, she's still here. Okay. And her all black girl magic. Right. C4 is done boarding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just got the C4. Uh, let's see if I can open this up. All right, I'm doing too much over here in the background. 
Kamar, you say you got it. You got it going. Let me see. You ready? Right, go to it, Kamar. Go to. For some reason, it's not allowing me to. The chief tax problem solver. Okay. Put some respect on his name. Respect. Yeah, I can download the whole thing. I can go through it that way. I mean, it's there. I don't know why it's not showing up. Well, I said present oh, screen. Anthony might have to put Oh, it. you know what? You know what? You know what? You have to give permissions. <laughs> you know what? I muted it because you might get in trouble. I don't want you to get in trouble. Oh, oh. yeah. Good point. And I already got in trouble earlier. So. Okay. <laughs> so Frankie Beverly will be proud. Guess that as a woman with a whole baby doing the electric slide. While breastfeeding. While breastfeeding. While breastfeeding. Yes. Correct. Oh, why you gotta zoom in on the people over there? You could not see. You could not see at all. Listen, my brother was hustling. Not the whole video. <laughs> I gotta pause this, right? So Steve left us, right? Steve's probably the smoothest black man alive. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Right on you. So that might oh, be. Oh, that was nice. That's why I say. So I did do a bus tour of the city. I'm a real big history buff. That's why I have these books here, right? But I got to say, that probably was the highlight. And that was the first night. First yeah, night that started was, with a we, bang. We went hard. The first, the first day we went hard. And we and Tiffany um, was having a conversation like, how are we going to top this day? All right, look, I got somebody else coming up to the stage. There's people just hopping out of nowhere. Oh, look, did you drop off? He's still here. All right. All right, let's see. I ran out of tunes, man. I got another one up, uh, loaded up to Anthony. All right, cool. Let me uh bring this person in. We got All right, yep, we got a new one coming through to the stage. She's been on the show a couple times. Well, actually, I've been on this podcast. His name is uh, Go by Family Abide. Bring him on through. What's going on, y'all? Yeah. That's Robert. Whoops. I know him. That's Robert. That's Robert. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's going on, Rob? Right? Want to state your name, sir? State your claim. Did he put himself on mute and then forgot else? Yeah, he on mute. Where, where the camera at, bro? Where the baby's huh? at? He ain't show nobody nothing. <laughs> <laughs> <Wrong mix. laughs> hey, Rob, if you click the wrong like, it's cool there. I can uh, remove you from the show. It's all right. But, um, he probably was waiting. Yeah. But it's cool, though. Um, so, yeah, so actually having that party and everything like that, I think it was great that we actually had that um, opportunity to really like shine ourselves. And I have to say, like every place that we go to, even when we went back inside the to the conference to the final party, like we still shut that down too. We did because it was not it was not being shut down before we we, we came. It was, it was not. I think people just disappearing out of nowhere. We turned, mm-hmm. yes, yep. definitely. Yep. We start, yes, but this is what I'm saying. Like that's what I go for. <laughs> to shut down places. <laughs> yes, that's what y'all go for. <laughs> that's what I go for. That's what I go for. I can't, I can't hang with y'all. I tried. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, the parties though. Like, all right, look. So we. Hold up, let's see. Our cousins are pulling up the AKA about that while it's after dark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need some liquor if this is after dark, though. Dude. Okay, <laughs> right, yeah, that nine o'clock show is usually done. By That's one day. thing I, I might need to throw a, a something at my house and 
Georgia. Because y'all don't know, I have so much liquor. We know. I can bring these I can bring these hard cookies. Yeah, you can keep them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even take them at FinCon for free. Mm-mm. You can keep them with you, brother. Oh, the company Cap Show actually came by my table to give away brownies for everybody that was there for my second show, uh, session. And oh, gave a nice. full, and she gave a full demonstration about how Cap Show works. To the point now, crazy. I actually signed up and I used it for the episode that I just released today. And Kamari was there, like when Kamari, we were on the phone, like actually on our session, like how we doing now. And Kamari and I, we were just playing around with different tools. And he was showing me Mid Journey for the the AI tool, and I was showing him, you know, the, from the podcast side of the house using uh, Cap Show for the first time. Cap Show. Mm-hmm. C A P and then show. That's H O. Yeah. Really bad for me. I may have. Yeah. To hmm. I won't share the show link for that until I get an affiliate link. But for right now, it, it seems to be okay. It's very similar to Cast Magic for those of you who are looking to turn audio and get like email content, blog content. You're getting um, YouTube show links and everything like that. For me, I loved about Cap Show is that it has the timestamps already built in. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to do the chapters already. It's already built in. So, mm. it's like so the big question is, are you going to FinCon next year? That is an awesome question. Robert, before we answer that question, show this clip, Anthony. All right. Where you at? It's still showing the same one. It's a new It's going to be like how this night started. Oh, how this night ended. <laughs> That's what I do. I plan chocolate. Oh, you know what? I ain't going to take a look. Are you quit? You quit? Yeah, I quit. Oh, that's me in the background. Okay, I know yet. <laughs> we up here. Remember that again? That was the, the first night. I well, came downstairs. Y'all kidnapped me. I didn't know where the hell I was going. Yeah, wife was sitting <laughs> in the hotel room. Yeah, so my wife was stuck in the hotel room. Sleep. <laughs> but to answer your question, Nia, yes, I'm coming back. If I'm definitely, everybody else is coming. I'm definitely yeah. coming. It's in my city that I just moved to. So you yeah, no I excuse. have my ticket. Yeah. Okay. I got my ticket too. Mm-hmm. I'm blowing my ticket. I'm just trying to get enough points so I get a free hotel stay. You speaking. So we speaking. So mm-hmm. I don't know if you speaking next year, Kamari, but we speaking. We gonna be you told speaking. me I had to speak this year. Okay, so yeah, we all speaking. So we all gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting in I'm putting in the speak. Yeah, he did say Pierre, like we know Pierre personally. Listen, Pierre got our money, so yeah, I know Pierre. He did. He did get our money, and he deserved it. Okay. Shout out to him. Was, shout out that to food was delicious, so he deserved every penny. Oh. Wow. I would give Pierre my money again. Oh, oh no, I got my 50 off. I yes. absolutely did get my 50 off. It's talking about like the, <laughs> the foodie of the year. Aquania got it. Oh, yeah. She oh, yes. Oh, yes. She did. Yes, she did. What's she doing this time now? I aspire to be like her next year. Because I took video of um, my sweet potato beignets using her phone. And so, like, just because she was like, you know, can you do the video footage? I was like, sure. I mean, but because I've been playing around with YouTube and stuff like that so much, I was like doing edits and playing around with the phone footage. I'm waiting to see what the final product looks like. She didn't show me that. I know I did the recording, though. Okay. Okay. Can we talk about something real quick? Yeah, what's up? So Adrian brought up the $50 discount. Is it me or it doesn't seem like that's nothing because they raised the price and they gave a piddly $50. It was, it just, is it just me? No, it's not. a $50 is not a lot. No. It's but not I mean, a lot. But they don't last, even year, do last year when the tickets went on sale, it was $99. It was $199, right. wasn't it? No, it was $99 because I bought it right away. And then oh. it was like, oh, wow. okay. Two, what is it? Three fifty? Whatever. I'm like two 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 eighty nine now. Two eighty nine. Like, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I'm wondering if. The, yeah, uh, I just moved to Atlanta, Jay. So I definitely be there. Mm-hmm. Right. Nice. So Ain't that right, really right. One ninety nine is what I saw last year. Yeah, that's what I thought last year. Yeah, for I think I got ninety nine. I'll, I'll double check though. Could have been one ninety nine, but still, that's a big jump. 
I feel 199 like, to 275. Yeah, that's a big jump. Mm-hmm. But okay. $75 increase, and then they give you $50 off. Yeah. Right here at 225. Mm-hmm. It's like, uh, it's like a, technically, it's like a $25 increase if you get the $50. Right. 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 It's not that big of an increase. With the, slick. with the $50 off, they just increased to $25. Right. 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 Exactly. And then I think I got the Pro Pass this time around because I wanted to try it out. Actually, I got my tag right here. What what will the propass do though? That gives you what? What's that? So this was the thing. I had to steal mine. Jay, I'm sorry you didn't get yours, but I took mine. Oh, she couldn't get hers? No, they took it too quickly. So she didn't get it. So I took mine. I was like, as she was snatching, I was like, "Mm -mm, let me get that. (laughs) Let me get that. Right. Because what are they gonna do with it anyway? (laughs) Exactly, ma'am. That's my name on that piece of paper. Uh, please and thank you. So this was uh my my pass. So you know, I tried to pro pass. The thing about it, though, I really wish that I had a regular pass because during the time when the pro sessions were happening, a lot of people, the segments that I really wanted to go to were happening at the same time. And so I was talking to different brands and waiting for them and stuff like that because everybody else was trying to talk to them one on one. That I was like, you know, I had to just put my name in the hat and just wait until I see you out in the hallway. Mm-hmm. And that's what I had to do. And I talked to most of them at the booths already. So, right, exactly. And since I talked to him at the booth already, and you know, and because it was less people, it was a little easier for me to do more one on ones with them at the booth while they already standing there. Like, you know, so that's one of the things that I kind of wish that they did a little better was to like really make the pro pass worth it. Like pro. Like, or, or or maybe I just didn't take full advantage of it. I mean, that could be also an option too. Like I didn't take full advantage of reaching out to the brands ahead of time and all this fun stuff. Right. right, if you were able to reach out to brands ahead right. of time. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, and I think that's the key, too, because I know um, there were a few brands I wanted to connect with, and I didn't get a chance to do it. And like AARP, they were not at their booth. They were MIA the whole I did not see. Time. Right, exactly. Where the hell was they at? Somebody had some diarrhea. I did because the running joke is um, my wife got mad at me because I signed up for AERP. She was like, We're not 50 yet. We don't need it. <laughs> I said, Damn it, I want these discounts. Thank you. Right. Okay. And so there, there was a brother, there was a brother at the booth. Like, I want to go in Sam's Club at 7 a.m. too. All the traffic. Oh. I sure the hell do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I'm gonna do the pro pass. I didn't, I did the regular pass. If I only way I get the pro pass is if when they select me as a speaker, I want to upgrade to the pro pass before they pay for my ticket. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's when I would get the pro pass. If that they pay for it, if on, yeah. on their dime, I would. But that's only if they let me do that. If they don't say like, oh, well, you can't upgrade now that. But I don't see them. I don't see them doing. That. I don't see no. No, they don't no, take it. It was um, I, I, um, because when I got my email from them after they selected the speakers, they was like it's a hundred dollars to bump up. Uh, to, Robert uh, said two years ago was ninety nine dollars. I could have swore I paid ninety nine bucks, but I, listen, one ninety nine, ninety nine. The points still there. Like that's a big jump. That's a big jump in price, in my opinion. I mean, they jumped a hundred dollars, and then this year they jumped less mm-hmm. than. So that means they jumped less though this year. Than they did previously. Anthony, I just added one more clip in. All right, I'm ready for the last clip. So that was the Prince request. Yes. All of you guys can work. That's what he was like, yeah. I don't work. That's what he said, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that's very possible. And he cut, he cut Rakim's mic. I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> he restarted. He restarted. He couldn't see. He could not see. Now this brother saved the day. Yes, he did. 
He wouldn't keep playing though. He just played for a little bit. He had enough breath for all that, man. He was tired. Now to yeah. be fair, Anthony, take like, a lot of breath to play a woodwind instrument. Well, not only that, it wasn't his. It wasn't his thing, right? It was another guy's joint. So he wasn't gonna get no tip money from that guy's stuff. So he's Correct. like, exactly. why am I gonna do all this and I ain't get no tips? You was all his breath. Enjoy the vibes, like yeah. Nah, he was like, "Fuck your vibes, your vibes." <laughs> He's trying to get paid. Exactly, your vibes ain't putting no uh gumbo on the table, sir. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's too fake. Can't be bought with vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the word. There he goes. Oh no. And that was just the first night. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, you gotta, you gotta go watch it. Oh my goodness, that was funny. Oh, no. <laughs> it was good times, man. Good times. Oh goodness. I'm telling you, it's gonna be hard to beat New Orleans. Yeah, it's gonna be very hard. Very yeah. hard. I'm not even trying to beat New Orleans because I mm -hmm. just know it's not yeah. possible. Unless we go out the country. Mm. Not yeah. Not For New Orleans. Yeah. Well, considering hard. that they had the holiday parade, I think I still have you know, since we have a lot of people here, I could actually say if anybody want to call in for those of you who can't make it up on stage, but you guys want to share, please, by all means, you can give us a phone call and just give us a call at 833-699-2558. And you can actually join the show right now. We should have Kamari, Kamari say the number. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Kamari. Right. You got to give the number. Got well, the phone number is eight three three. Put it, put it in the private chat. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. The private chat. Put it in the private chat. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> Anthony, I want to be like you when I grow up. Okay, <laughs> you are like super and high. Kamari, I want to be like Anthony. And I know. Look at Kamari's setup. Right, that it's is so game. cool. I need help on my lighting. Yeah, I need. So I, got, I, love I got a new space now, so I got new light. I got fixed. See, I want to get rid of her. You see her back there. <laughs> your, um, your that's easy. That's easy to do. Just take, just take a. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I got. Sixteen, nineteen. Okay. See, see this light, this little Ooh. small light. Yeah. Just put it in back of you and um, focus it on the wall. It'll take the shadow away. See me the description Ooh. of it. Yeah, the yeah description need of that light. I, I, looked up, I looked up floor lights and, and I didn't find nothing. Oh, like, uh, that's a. Like uh, that. I'm trying to see if I got the box around. That is a newer like that. That's the name of the brand, newer. N -E -E oh yeah, I've seen stuff from them before. Yeah, yeah. They're not but sponsored this show. Just if anybody wants to participate in the About That Wallet FinCon 2023 recap, please call in 833-699-2558 again. 833-699-2558. Time is limited, so make sure you call in now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Get sure. that radio it. voice. Yeah, that's what I said. Let Kamari do it. Yeah. <laughs> Get that radio it. voice. All right, so let me try this again. Let's see. Limited time only. Coffee. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta speed up. The, you gonna do it? You gotta speed up the cadence. You speed up the cadence. Right, gotta get, gotta get the cadence out. <clears throat> He can only focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> he was trying to get the voice first. <laughs> that is funny. Call me now at 833 <laughs> If you want to be on the show, time is limited. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. What, I do um, too. What, uh, what, what game show was that again? Price is right. Price is right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I do need to listen. 
I don't even like coming on Anthony Shaw watching it, right? It just makes me feel <laughs> deficient. Like inferior. <laughs> yeah, like his overlays are sharp, his soundboard's sharp, and he keeps liquor on tap all the and, time. Right, and he yeah. was, oh, why he was uh, impaired. You know? Oh goodness! Well, this is my second glass. I mean, well, Anthony clearly, I learned right. Oh. He can hold this liquor. No, nah, listen, Anthony's so smooth with it. He didn't got my drunk. He didn't got my wife drunk while we was at FinCon. <laughs> he got another man wife drunk. Like you gotta, <laughs> you be smooth, you gotta have be a smooth brother to get another man wife drunk in front of his face. In front of his face. In he front of his face. Behind your back. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it was to the point Kamari was like, Look, don't don't talk to my wife. You got her drunk. I was like, Yo, really? <laughs> Listen, okay. we, we got to run with the joke, right? Those yes. stops for the jokes. So, <laughs> all right. I'm just making sure I have my volume up so in case anybody wanted to make a quick phone call. I'll say shout out to the folks. Any comments that y'all had to say about FinCon, what y'all thought about it? All right, so Anthony, 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 Anthony is that listen. guy when it comes to YouTube. He knows all the hacks and tools. I wouldn't say all that. I'm, well, listen, I am trying to get the 10,000 subs. So. I mean, you got K's. You might be the only person on this live that got K's behind your subscribers. So but you can get K's too, Nia. I told I'm you. I'm trying, you and I'm going to, listen, but I don't most, have them now. You have The most them important now. thing for YouTube is title, topic, title. thumbnail. Title, topic, thumbnail. Okay, That's the most that important thing. And timing, you, timing. Somebody said timing time, too. Timing too. Timing's up there for relevancy. So, for example, right. I did a follow up stream last night with Anthony talking about Caesar Pena and DJ Envy and all the real estate shenanigans, scams that's going on, and it's got some views. I shared another Jay Z, uh, not another, but I shared the Jay Z. Would you rather? He would have his cousin. Oh, right. Well, no, I covered the cousin too. That one did did okay. But uh, this one I covered was the recent interview, 500K or lunch with Jay-Z. Oh, yeah. And Jay-Z People, said, you better take the money. I mean, that's yeah. the only right thing to say. But He said, what are you going to dinner with me for? <laughs> <laughs> but all right. So, Anthony, this is what I propose. To start off your new podcast all consulting right. business. Okay. I need you to audit my show and say I can make it better. And I'll pay you. Ooh. Audit your live show or your pre because you only do live shows, right? Yeah, I do some pre recorded, but the live show, the live show is the one that is then um, I take the audio from that and put it on the podcast or the audio podcast. Yeah. Okay. Because see, for me, since I, I'm my hosting platform is Spotify, I take my video. I know I don't do that. So that's something else you can audit. You can okay. charge me for Anthony. All right. You picking up what I'm putting down? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got you. Uh, so I wanted to highlight this one because I just recently had Jay from the uh, she Rich was like on my Rich Like My Melanin, and I just wanted to share like the first thirty seconds of the episode that we had together. Hopefully, I got my audio ready. So I developed um, and worked on how to navigate the job loss and that's the next big thing I guess like breaking news um, I am putting out a journal it's called the good and goodbye that shows how to navigate the layoff process like how to look at your severance package and make sure it makes sense um, how to go through interviews how to keep track of it and then a bunch of free resources that I found along the way like there's a place on the interwebs on Beyonce's interwebs yeah. where you can get a professional headshot using AI and it's it's not free, but it's less than the professional photographers I've paid for in the past. So I wanted to share that because it helped out with what she was talking about at Streamer, in that Streamer, at FinCon at the same time. Because one of the things that we, uh, she obviously was talking about was how to streamline everything down to 20 minutes using AI. And so oh. because of that, this was one of the things. And I tried that out a little bit on Canva, and I have to say, like you know, my 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 headshot didn't come out well, but it's all right though. We we, we ain't gonna show that right now on on the screen because <laughs> they had my arm like left side of my yeah, it didn't work out right. What AI it was AI yeah. or was yeah. it? It was AI. I got my arm on, on to my right arm was over to my left, and then they did 
gave me double neckties and everything like that. It, it was just horrible. Mm. Yeah, AI will have you out here with three eyes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like total recall. Mm. Oh, not the three nipples. Come on. Well, I was trying to be PG, so I didn't say that. That was actually what I thought first. I didn't yeah. say it either. I just said Total Recall. But that's what took. That's where it took Anthony, though. But so. only if you knew, if you seen Total Recall, you would know that. Mm-hmm. Well, certainly yeah. Anthony saw it. I might be able to finish this bottle by the time this is over. With. But anyway, um, so you know, so we already talked about that. We want to come next time. We talked about the first timers talked about what we uh done but what was your number one takeaway from fincon this year like what is what is the thing that you actually going to work on for this year for next year i have two okay should i probably have three so my first one is showing up more authentically me um when it comes to my social media um that's one of my first ones um that's one two is with them literally leading all my landing pages like the customer oh which i gotta i did read your email renee i'm gonna tell you my response afterwards okay um but yeah with them like so what i found out because i got audits of my landing page speaking page video reel and um my top offers landing page um And the biggest thing that I learned is a lot of my landing pages, the order of it, I need to put the with them first, top of the page. When you say with them, what was With them means what's in it for me. Uh, W-I-F-M-M. Yeah. So typically, (laughs) typically when people are looking for something or they're looking to do anything, the first question they want to know is with them. What's your with them? Mm -hmm. So my pages, I weren't, I wasn't leading with my with them. So they, when they come into the page, they need to know first what's in it for them and what will they get. And I wasn't leading with that with my marketing. So that's my second biggest takeaway. So I have to adjust a lot of my marketing, you know, it, for that. And then the third thing is up leveling up my content. Mm-hmm. You did tell me that. My content. Yeah, those are my three takeaways from FinCon that I will be implementing to prepare for the following year. Okay. Wanna take next? I can go ahead. So I think my big three is what we talked about before, collaboration. Mm-hmm. So and I've already started on that. So just collaborate, collaborate, collaborate. Who can I collaborate with so that you know I can basically 10x my business? I got you. We're right. good. <laughs> right. That's easy. Yeah. And so uh the other one was creating a strategic plan a strategic mm-hmm. marketing plan. That was the one takeaway that I got from attending Kirsten and uh, what's her husband's name? Julian. 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 From well, Richard Regular. Hmm? Richard Regular. Richard Regular. Richard Regular. Richard Regular. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So doing my strategic plan. And then like Nia said, just showing up consistently. Those are mine. So let's let everybody in on that joke, Nia. <laughs> <laughs> She just threw something out there that only me and her and anybody else that's in the chat will, will get. So Larry Jones thought that Kamari was Julian. Damn, and you probably give it out, you give it out governments and everything. Oh my gosh. That's his name. <laughs> I, know, I know, I know. He okay. saw him and was like, Oh man, you know, I've been wanting to meet you all and link up with you all. And he was like, uh so th- there's another so who story. is Larry Jones? Who is he? Look him up. He's amazing. Yeah, Larry, he's a big guy for finance. It, like he does he's mostly. A, he's a big guy in terms of stocks. He's, got stock he's the one who oh, sold Deandra last year that she need to take girl out of the name of her business. Ooh. Really? Yes, he did. Mm. I look him up. Yeah, so Larry Jones, I can shout him up because he he done a lot. I would say like he actually remembered me from last year. I was like, wow. Right. Um, because I was like, who? I mean, I watched him doing this. Uh, when he did a panel with him, um, it was Keenan Stockmo and his wife. They did a panel. Mm-hmm. I was there. I saw that. It was dope. But this is Larry. Like he, he has over a thousand videos with over six hundred thousand subscribers. Like oh, this is a- okay. And he was there this year. He didn't have the whole crew, but he does. Uh, 
short i call it short form content anything under 30 minutes to me is short form i i like long form content because i hate pausing and waiting for the next one like i'm driving i don't want to i drive for hours like every day so i don't like short form content mm-hmm. it's not for me but a lot of people love the short form so if you're looking for stocks and short moments and stuff like that that that's like so let's get a let's give a shout out to everybody that's here let me get everybody's channels here uh, i got four more minutes you guys what you got bedtime you tired streets don't wore you out streets don't call it yes no i need i have to get my beauty rest so i can be have energy for the streets oh Mm-hmm. Clearly, you have your priorities together. I do. I mean, <laughs> all right. So while y'all are here, so you can check out uh, Kamari's page. But wait, can I can I just jump in one second, Anthony? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You asked everybody that question. What are you, what was your takeaway? What are you going to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your takeaway? Sorry, I'm an interviewer myself, so I can't help it. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. No, you. Anthony, you. You want me? Oh, geez. I thought you were. <laughs> I have it too much wine. Yeah, um, exactly. So my call Anthony the Wino. That's his new name. <laughs> <laughs> he said energy for the streets. Oh my gosh. <laughs> who's this? Who's this guy? Oh my gosh. Yo, that's uh, that's Jeff. Jeff was at the conference. Oh, Jeff oh yeah, the Jeff Jeff Wealth Builder. Yeah, Jeff from Philly. Shout out to Jeff. Nice. So one of the things that my my three takeaways, um, well, my number one takeaway is actually the accountability aspect. And one of the things, because even though we have this going on, thank you so much, Nia, for putting it together. And thank you for allowing me to join, even though I was like intermittent with it. And but, I, yes, he was. I was thinking about it, though. You know, say I'm working on the back end. Because that helps. Um, yeah. <laughs> thinking about it really helps to get it done. But I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I give you an outline. I'm doing so uh the second, it, thing, the second thing, okay, it's my show. What's <laughs> 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 with that? It's the big Willie over here. <laughs> so the second thing is that uh what I want to do. No. <laughs> so the second thing that that I want to do is actually start writing a book. And because of that, I actually teamed up with Shinobu uh, Hendert. She's actually was on the GMA Good Morning America uh, mm-hmm. just three days before FinCon. And she was actually speaking, talking about her book on the second launch, even though she launched it two years ago, that she's relaunching it now. And now that I was having that communication, now that we have an accountability piece, and I was like, yo, this is amazing. The third takeaway is that I need to learn salsa dancing. So I'm signing up for salsa classes. Um, I got to look for some first that's local so I can learn my salsa. Get up in there. Yeah. <laughs> well, come to Philly. I got a, a, a salsa dancer as a client. Nice. Oh, man. There you go. So, yeah, those are my three takeaways. All right. Okay. Kamari. Kamari. I only really have one. I'm going to go heavy into everything that I'm doing, but also start a daily uh, newsletter called uh, Daily Ooh, Tech Chat. Nice. So yeah, what I, y'all saw me put it in the in the uh, chat. I launched my first Substack. So I got mm. oh, I'm to Substack. You can see the analytics from Substack, though, right? Mm. I believe so. I'm testing it out Ooh. now, but I'm committed to doing it. That's awesome. You can see that. Oh, I went to a really. That's one of the few sessions I did go through. An uh, email session. It was really good. I have, so I gave this to Anthony. I don't think he took advantage of it. So I have a really, really good friend of mine who is a copywriting, an email copywriting guy. His name is Donnie Bryant. And I have several. Oh, Donnie Bryant. I've heard that name before. Yeah. And he's, I, I think you're familiar with TSB, Traffic Sales and Profit. Oh, yes. Of course I am. And I'm in Atlanta now. Y- yes. And they're they're doing something in January. Um, Game plan is in January. TSB Live is in June. Yeah, but I've done a couple of interviews with Donnie and they're on my on my channel. If anybody wants to think about email, I think it's a great class. Mm. So it's free. Note it. I will be watching it. <laughs> Traffic. I'll, 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 to you. I'll definitely check that out. Yeah. Well, he said it's on his yeah. on his channel. On my channel. It's on my right, channel. right, right. On your yeah. channel. Yeah. Yeah, Donnie Bryant. I will be watching both I'll of them. I'll throw him in the chat real quick. Okay. Oh, thank mm-hmm. you. Appreciate you. 
I like to, to believe in myself. I walked away. Girl, you are. Yes. The you be, yes. Girl, yes. Jay, you be, Jay be coming. Nobody be talking about nothing. And Jay coming. Hey, guys, why don't we do that? You be like, that's a damn good idea. Right, yeah, right. We can't do that. <laughs> Girl, please, you should be believing in yourself. You are the bomb. Mm -hmm. you know, and, and just to add on to that, because Dee and I were talking about that too. You know, I know my first FinCon, you know, I was, I don't want to say I'm an introvert, but like I said, I was really focused on taking the workshops. You know, the second mm -hmm. one was more about building, you know, those relationships. And what I felt was, I felt more confident. You know, we talked about that, too. You know, with each FinCon, you know, I felt, you know, just like, you know, er, I guess basically, you know, everybody is just like you, you know. And if you see other people doing it, you can do whatever it is that they can do as well. You know, and True. I think having a goal to build a, a million dollar brand is a great goal to have. Yes. I know I felt that, especially after watching uh, Rachel Rogers, you know, on the stage. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So um, with all this money talk and everything like that, I have to say, like, you forgot no, a question. I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the number one question that I you can probably spend the rest of this episode talking about, which is what could have they done better? Yeah. What could mm. have they done better? Considering the venue, say the venue is a must have. What could have what could they have done better? Considering the venue is a must have. Right. Considering that, like, because we had to go through the floors. I'm I'm not gonna talk about the floor thing because that's my gripe about it, but it's it's where it was at. So I think the pro pass. Mm -hmm. Oh know? yeah. Because I, I bought the pro pass and I felt like that was a waste of money. Mm -hmm. You know, and even the night that they had the um, what was that? The the the, dinner, the, the dinner or whatever it was. What was that? They that they had where you get to the reception. I think it was like a reception or something where you have a chance oh, to. Oh, the, the uh, speaker pro mixer. Yeah, the pro mixer. The yeah. pro mixer, exactly, exactly. But then they schedule the dinner. You know, for those who had signed up for the dinner, they schedule that at the same time. So you mm -hmm. had what thirty minutes to actually use the pro pass if you didn't get a chance to meet with the, you know, vendors or whatever they are. Right, earlier. and they came out with the dinner clubs before the schedule, before you saw the schedule. Yeah, so exactly. How you supposed to know that it was going to be at the same time. Yep, exactly. So yeah, they definitely could have done that better. And like you said, that whole layout was just not good. Right. For me. It's why does every year they have a problem with Android devices? They sure do. Every <laughs> single year. Sure and it's do. like, you know, you just need to get an iPhone, that's all. And I'm not. <laughs> and, I'm not and I'm not. Um, unless they if they purchase an it, now that might be a different story. Yeah, but but um, if you know that this is a problem that occurs over and over again, mm -hmm. it's no way you can work and send a message before we're actively at the event because we she talked to you know somebody about it and was like you know we're unable and she was like oh well they've had six weeks to connect with people yeah not if you had an android you didn't have six weeks no mm -hmm. you weren't able to connect with people so i purchased a pro pass and i wasn't able to connect with brands i literally was just went in the room and went to who was available yeah. that i wanted to talk to and i took my appointments essentially mm -hmm. is essentially what i did because I couldn't make appointments with brands. They could make them with me, but mm -hmm. I couldn't make appointments with brands. And I kept seeing that notification. It was like, hey, somebody's wanted to schedule something with you. I was like, I can't. And then I couldn't see that. what it was. Right. I read that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. Come on. Don J said, I am here. I'm not sure what that is. But, uh, oh, gotcha. But what I've done. But, uh, Oh, what would I say? Um, more black people. Listen, we had more. We had more. Um, they listen, did I'm, do more. They I, did. We had more diversity in attendance mm -hmm. this year. I think we did have a lot of that. Yes. But I, I felt, so. I felt like on the stage presenting, it was kind of, it was very vanilla. So I think, mm -hmm. like in, so y'all know me, but y'all don't really know me. I'm. 
and I'm not trying to put anybody. I got a huge idea. Right. Uh, Yeah, I think I know what you want to say. Part of it is we need to step up and do more. Right. I know we talked about doing something with Finn Noir, and I don't know what happened, but we need to do more. But to Nia's point, she was like, Kamari, you could have did that session. Somebody did a session that I could have did. I didn't apply to be a speaker. So I can't put it all off on FinCon. Right. Right. So some of us, we have to step up, be accountable, and be there. But I do also think they could also be more actionable as well, seeking out more of us. I mean, there was a lot of people there. Like, I don't know if y'all know, um, what is his name? JT Automations. He's got a pretty big YouTube channel. They sought out more people to attend. Mm. Right. They they got they did that as far as people attending. They sought out more mm-hmm. people to attend because they, they were actually at other conferences. Yeah, they, they didn't out. go to Invest Fest to see get more vanilla people. But I I didn't see. Well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Now I can tell you this. Um, we we'll probably have to probably take this offline. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say we can't get deep into that. Yeah, yeah we can't, we can't get talk. Deep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why you afraid? <laughs> it is not about being afraid. No, no, not you, Nia. I'm messing with Anthony. Oh. I'm, just, I'm just being silly. Yeah. <laughs> and my eyes are already, I can't open them up anyway. So. Yeah, I'm about to let y'all go. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. App could be improved in scheduling. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rob. Yeah, you're right on that one. Mm-hmm. Because um, the scheduling was one thing, because I did talk to Jessica a little bit about that was like on Saturday everything was all at once and I was like I can't make it at all I was like hey that's a good thing but also it's like why couldn't we have that same energy throughout because there were so many speakers. Saturday, yeah Saturday had, to me had the best sessions yeah. it really did I know it was 1 30 to 2 30 it was like it was packed yep yeah agreed Agreed. So, mm-hmm. And like uh, I told her, it was it was great. I was like, you know, coming through, but on the the other days, it was just kind of lacking. But however, it's cool because it allowed us to go see the city. Mm-hmm. I, I wish That's I knew true. that in my twenties too, Don. Wait a minute, Don is that Don Johnson? But he doesn't. So Don Johnson is on my page. But um, I tell uh, him Donovan, that, uh, tell Donovan Donovan that all the time. Your network determines your network. Yeah, Donovan Jones. He's on. He's one of my guys. That's only right. okay. Because yeah. I was saying mm-hmm. I got a guy, a Don. But his is Don Johnson, so I wasn't sure. Okay. I really wish I knew that network, that my network is. Yes, I would agree. Mm-hmm. I wish I knew that in my 20s, too. Yep. Yes, it did. I don't know what it did, but it, yes, it did. Now, see, the thing about it is like, because um, Donovan, like, we network a lot talking about real estate and everything like that, but we also talk financial stuff. But this guy is on a whole nother level. I, <laughs> we chat offline a lot. So, um, I'm eyes getting lower. What's Beyonce song? Eyes getting lower. I mean, I'm only halfway. I through. think that bottle's about done now, isn't it? It's about halfway through. <laughs> that ain't nothing but some sugar juice. That's all that is. Ain't Ooh, no it really is. Like, some ain't sugar no juice. <laughs> I just gotta take it off. You know what I'm saying? Just give me some music. Give me a daiquiri. I'm good. Well, I'm going to let you guys go because it's nine minutes past my time. Oh, I got work to do on my business this weekend. This weekend is all about. I know, that's right. Oh, yeah. I'm tomorrow. getting off early tomorrow. All of this weekend all right. is all about perspective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to head out, too. I got to go finish working on my community. See? Right. Mm-hmm. <sighs> got work to do. This was great, though. I had a ball. This was fun. Thank right. you for the invite. Yes. Yeah, anytime. We definitely got to do this again. Just talk Absolutely. About I think we should do this at least once a month. Oh, yeah. Have, I'm like, sure. have like a, not a free for all, but like a. We have a theme. We got a theme. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Because right. yeah, next month is just so y'all know, those of, y'all, those of you who are watching right now. So next I'm gonna month, be on there. we are talking about family and finance and actually getting ready for the holidays. Ooh. So we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways, even though you saw me just give away two books. This is starting pretty much next week. I'm probably do. It might be like a solo show. I might have a few people on, but I do want to have this open up. But also, I want to have a webinar. So I'm going to have a webinar set up so that you can sign up and get direct contact with 
everybody that's here, if okay. not if not more, because I can actually hold more people on a live show, and I want to make sure we get interaction, breakout rooms. We're gonna have it all. Okay. Going, I mean, Zoom. We'll have a whole summit. Show. Yeah, yeah. I'm family doing a finance summit. summit. Okay. Right, family and finance summit. That. So I have it. Like I said, I'm doing a live show just to kind of prep it up to get it hyped up because the holidays are coming around the corner and we got to make sure. I'm thinking about doing like a seven days of Kwanzaa where I do like different. Nia is one of the principles of Kwanzaa. Yes, it is. Yes. So creativity. That's purpose. Purpose. Purpose, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's something about doing. Another one of these, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. I got you, Kabari. Where I'm from, that's a bad thing, right? What I'm probably I'm gonna do is, out. What I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna highlight a business each day, buy something mm-hmm. from different businesses, and that's that. where I'll give away the things I'm from good. the different businesses. And that's what I typically that's the reason why I like doing books because books are forever. Like you can actually pass this down to generations. Books Next. are pass on because Next. even yep. the rich dad, poor dad, I know a lot of people hate it. But that is the book that the parents got. They pass it on to the kids because the kids, like the parents ain't even read the book. <laughs> so the kids read the book. Mm-hmm. They were like, yo, why did you teach me this sooner? And then they change it on to the next generation. So I, that's the reason why I always give out books. So yeah, if you ever on my live show, you might get a random book just because you're doing a live. Like, hey, this is what I do. Mm-hmm. So definitely imagine like how this is, but imagine having this in a concentrated environment but it's more control. We don't have to worry about the public joining in or anything like that. It's just mm-hmm. us doing deep dives into this conversation and making sure that you get all the value that you need for you and your family. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why I want to do this, um, the webinar setup. So please, if you haven't already joined my email list, I will be putting that out. To join my email list, you type in about that wallet.com forward slash newsletter. You will actually join my email list. I'll be shooting that out shortly. Uh, more than likely this weekend so that you can get signed up. So if you're listening to this live right now, hey, I want to make sure everybody get in. I mean, I think everybody here is already on my email list. So we, we y'all going to get it. So it's, it's all right. Come on. I got you. Yeah, I want to do a summit next year, but in person. Ooh, that'd be yeah. nice. In I want to do, I want to do an in-person one too. One day. Run the lower third. That was in a like I'm right off. Hey, uh, you go by Dojo. I'm surprised you even oh. did Don G. Don J. Hey, okay, y'all yeah. have a great one. All right, cool. I'm here. See you. Bye. Okay, guys, I'm out of here too. Have All a right. good one. See ya. Oh man, so this was actually a lot of fun, Kamari. So, do you have any last minute things that you want to give out to the people, just to kind of say, you know what? Um, you know, one last thing about FinCon, like what? What does it bring? What type of uh, energy or like feeling that you get from coming from FinCon? Um, On to FinCon, really? There's a level of community, right? Um, a couple of years ago, I didn't really think there were too many, and this might sound wild, right? But I didn't think there was a lot of quality, good black financial content creators. Okay. When I go on to FinCon, we meet a bunch. Right. So it's been great for that one of the things that i found out from last year to this year is that somebody asked me and was like why she asked them i was like do you know any other black content creators or a podcast that you listen to and it was like no i can't even remember the person who i asked but i was like well you met one and you know it's like i didn't realize that it's so few of us in this community that are providing value and education to the black community that is being missed out um, amongst everybody. Well, there's a lot of them. The question is, are they grad- Are they providing value, positive value? Positive. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's very right few good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they're, they're like, listen, the relationship podcasts are blowing up. But I mean, black people still don't really listen to podcasts like that outside of comedy. Right. In relationship stuff, it has to be, yeah, because for some reason, relationships seem to be really big. But I'm like, yo, how about the relationship with money? The jar, but it's a jarring effect, right? The shock, the shock value is is still there, right? With 
with uh, relationships, no matter which way you go. So, right. relationship relationship content will always win. <laughs> Just like health content will always win. What's it? It's like health, um, health, wealth, and uh, health, wealth, and uh, relationships or love are like the three big ones. Well, wealth, I would say, is going to be tough, unless you're talking about spending the money. Whatever, just in that, money niche, in, yeah. in that niche, right? Right. Whether it's investing, whether it's credit cards, whether it's secret shopper, that can work. That can work, like in a big way. Gotcha. When you look at our biggest podcast, they're around those three topic areas: health, wealth, and love. Love. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you in the comments right now, do you feel like love is something that you're struggling with right now? That's oh Lord. Right. I'm about to run. <laughs> <laughs> I could right. Well, if anything, dude, I greatly appreciate you. I appreciate everything you do. And it was awesome to meet you and your wife uh for the first time in person. Thanks. I think that's actually it was my first time meeting you in person. It was. It yeah. Was. So you've only know, talked on um on the interwebs. Yeah. So I have to say this is amazing. So definitely thank you for coming through. Um, you know, if you got a roll, you got a roll. I'll probably just have one more last uh moment of time with the folks before we shut this down. So um but one of the things I do want to share out is is that I greatly appreciate you and everybody else in the financial community, those of you who couldn't join me live right now, understand like life happens. And for those of you who are actually in the show notes and putting out this comment, because all you might be watching, just make sure you give it a thumbs up uh, on no matter what platform you're watching, because this actually helps out, helps us actually get known out here. It's um it's pretty tough when it comes to the financial realm. So um, I just want to say thank you for everything that you guys do. And please make sure you, as I always say, be safe. I'm out. Peace. All right, let me get my outro music.